So in this video, I'm going to be showing you top 5 the best clothing glitches in GTA 5 online after the patch of 1.69. So y'all will be able to get like different duffel bags and it's going to be 4, I mean 5 different methods. But before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my newest subscribers here on the channel, Ashton. And if you don't want to get a shout out just like Action, you just subscribe to my YouTube channel, drop a like, and you might get a shout out in my next video. I just pick a random person that subscribed to my last video and give them a shout out. I also do clothing glitches and I also do go live with subscribers and do car music and drag races so if you do want to join that just click that red subscribe button and let's get straight into the first method the first thing what you're gonna have to do is make your way to this spot right here on the map where it says v so you're gonna have to go and see vincent so with the new cloak and bell dlc uh, or the heist and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to start up the first the prep so now you don't even need anything for this you don't need to buy anything you literally just go and do the cutscene with vincent and just start up this first mission and you can also start it on its own and you're gonna start it up on your own and now once you do load into the mission uh you might load in differently than me because this is not my first time doing it so i'll load it in the garage with the red duffel bag but for you it might get you like the cutscene with vincent and all that and then you will spawn in outside of the vespucci police station with the red duffel bag but it doesn't really matter you just spawn with the red duffel bag so now to actually save this you're gonna have to open your uh, interaction menu go down to appearance and go to illuminated clothing now hold right on the d-pad on this for about like, or hold right on this for about like 20 to 30 seconds. Just wait like 20, 30 seconds, just hold right on the d-pad. And after it's been about like 20 to 30 seconds, I will show you what you actually have to do. And you won't be able to save it right away, I will show you how you can actually save the duffel bag. So once it's been 20 to 30 seconds, you're just gonna have to back out with your phone. Now you'll see you don't actually have the red duffel bag, it disappears. Uh, what you're gonna have to do is open your interaction menu and you're gonna have to go register as a ceo so you're gonna have to go down right here to register as a boss and then after you click on register as a boss you're gonna have to click on register as a ceo so you should see it in a second there we go and then go to management go to styles and then go once to the right and once to the left and you will see that the duffel bag did appear now just request a buzzard or any flying vehicle and just make your way to the mass drop. So like I said, keep watching the video because right now if you go to a clothing store, you won't actually be able to save it, but I'm showing you right here how to actually save it. So just make your way to the mass store by the beach. And you're gonna have to jump out the helicopter above the water so you don't get the cops. You're gonna have to jump out and what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to land uh, with your parachute. Make sure you have a parachute, either have the Israel, Israel parachute or the regular parachute. Uh, for this to work so what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to go to the left side where there's like a blue uh, there should be like a blue t-shirt so it's gonna be like a blue t-shirt to the left side that was gonna be a blue and pink t-shirt and that's where you're gonna have to land feel free to re-watch this part so you're just gonna have to quickly you can also use r1 and l1 to be more precise also make sure you don't get the cops uh, or you can just buy authorities if you do so you're gonna have to go to the left side so as you can see those t-shirts you're gonna have to land straight into the t-shirts and now spam right on the d-pad and you should get on the screen right here and now just save this outfit into any slot and it just doesn't matter which slot and you can save it um name it whatever and then when you when you do equip it you will see that you do actually have the red duffel bag so like i said this is a brand new method after the new patch and the new cluck and bell heist this method is for scientific purposes only and only for cosmetic purposes so i don't condone you do any of this uh, but yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like on it little cool go drop a like on the video this method did work for you make sure you comment it down below so other people trying this out also do know that it works so you're gonna need the mctony robbery uh, which this week is the piss for comet s2 cabrio so if you are watching this video uh, as of march 15th or like this week it is still available so you can start up this one and you will have to do a scope out mission which takes about like two to three minutes uh, you have to scope out a submarine and now once you've done that go back to your salvage yard and go back outside and you will see that there is a prep mission on the map so you're gonna have to make your way to one of these it's gonna be uh, the security outfit prep missions for the mctony robbery now you will have to find a duffel bag so what you're gonna do so you should be able to find it the security outfits and you're gonna have to pick up the orange duffel bag just like this now actually in the footage i did mess it up so uh, i did actually mess up the whole glitch but if you do it correctly you will be able to actually save the orange duffel bag so at the end i will show you which what you don't do all right because uh, yeah because i didn't mess it up at the end but if you don't mess it up it will work so now just make your way back to your salvage yard and you're gonna have to land in the salvage yard just like this you're gonna have to jump out of your helicopter and then land exactly on the yellow circle so just land on your yellow circle and you have to jump out make sure you call lesser just in case you get the cops and then jump out of the helicopter and just land on the yellow circle so the yellow circle 
make sure uh, so you don't don't just walk in you're gonna have to land exactly on that yellow circle so it's gonna be pretty easy so depending on where your salvage art is it could be a bit harder so just like this now make your way to ammunition and what you're gonna have to do is go to parachutes and now you're gonna have to equip this specific parachute right here the israel parachute on uh, this one right here so i'm pretty sure it only works with this one so the israel parachute just equip this one uh right over here and now once you've done that you can also try this with the regular parachute but i'm not sure if it does work uh so yeah just make your way to now what you're gonna have to do just call out like a flying vehicle just any flying vehicle it doesn't have to be an oppressor it could literally just be a buzzard from your ceo which will only cost you twenty five thousand. and just make your way to the mass shop so the mass shop by the beach uh that's the only one that's on the map so just make your way over there uh using your helicopter and by the way if you do, didn't drop a like on the video so far make sure you do just real quick we'll drop a like uh literally the like button just click on it it's free and yeah i highly do appreciate it uh, helps me out do more videos like this and also let me know in the comments down below if any of these methods did work for you so other people trying this out also do know that it works and they can go ahead and read the comments and know that it does work and if anything does they get pad just make sure you let us know um but these these been working for a while so they probably won't get patched so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to jump out of your helicopter around this height and also make sure you have bribed authorities because you might get the cops after the helicopter is falling unless you're using an oppressor you're gonna have to land with the parachute on the left side so the blue and pink t-shirt she's gonna have to land right there uh so the left side so here i actually messed up the glitch but i'll show you uh when it does actually work so i don't want to apologize i accidentally messed up the glitch i clicked right on the d-pad a bit too early here I'm going to show you how it should look like when it works. So here I also got the green duffel bag. It works for both, so uh, it was just a different mission. So you're going to have to land a bit further away from them and make sure your character like crashes like this and just spam around right on the D-pad. And now you'll be able to save the outfit just like this and just save it to any slot. Um, in this footage right here was the green duffel bag, but like I said, it also works with the orange as I did show you. I just had messed it up the glitch at the end. For this method, you won't actually need a terabyte. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to start out the first dose mission number two. So to actually get this mission, you're going to have to complete the first, first dose mission by meeting Ron in Sandy Shores. So you should see an R on the map by Sandy Shores. So first you complete that, and then you do the second mission, which is the one I started. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make your way to this location on the map. So just go over there. And by the way, if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I will try to help you out uh, if you do have any questions. By the way, this duffel bag, yes, it is the jet black duffel bag. And you will actually get the open duffel bag and it does work on all consoles so xbox and also by the way make sure you don't skip any parts in the video because sometimes i see people like, skip parts in the video and then they end up missing like an important part of the glitch so make sure you do watch until the end or at least until the outro and yeah so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to find this truck cab right here so uh should be right over here but it could be in a different location so you're just gonna have to go inside now once inside the truck cab what you're gonna have to do is it's gonna tell you to find the trailer so you're going to have to find the trailer or the party supplies. They should be at the same location. So even if you're doing this, uh, there should be right over there by the docks. But it will show you on the map either way where it's going to be located. So either way, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make your way over there and just pick the party suppliers or the trailer or whatever. So you're just going to have to go pick that up. By the way, uh, yeah, if you die, it will actually restart the mission. You can do the solo. You don't actually need anyone for this stuff a bad glitch. So... She's gonna have to go inside just like this and now this part right here doesn't really matter you're just gonna have to follow the circle or follow the yellow circle and you will get shot at and you will you will actually lose your trailer but that's all right so that's how the glitch actually is or that's how the mission actually goes so you're just gonna have to drive away then you will see that the trailer is on fire and then you're just gonna have to abandon it and then what you have to do is you're gonna have to make your way to the mc club or the motorcycle club place or whatever And you're gonna have to take everyone out now once you go inside the mc clubhouse there shouldn't be anyone else left and you're gonna have to take a picture of the plans so you will see the duffel bag in a minute but before you do that what you're gonna have to do is go to the clubhouse uh plans and what you're gonna have to do is you have to take a picture of it so it's not located over here i will show you it's actually located right over here and this room right here 
So then what you have to do is just uh, click up on the D-pad to actually just open up your phone and go to photos or go to just take a picture. Now, once you have taken a picture, what you're going to have to do is make your way right over here to the duffel bag. So the duffel bag should be right over here, right behind the counter. You're going to have to click right on the D-pad to pick it up. Make sure you have the outfit equipped that you want the black duffel bag to be on. So for me, it's going to be this one. So just like this. Now the duffel bag is on your character. So now don't back out of the mission just yet. What you have to do is open your interaction menu, go to appearance, then go down to illuminated clothing. So they did change it up a little bit. My last video on this about a year ago, um, you couldn't actually change accessories. So what you have to do is go to illuminated clothing and you're going to have to scroll down on the D-pad for about like 20 to 30 seconds. So don't go like one, two, three, four, go like one, two, three. So like actually 30 seconds, you're going to have to scroll on that. Now you will see on the footage, my controller actually did end up dying, but you don't actually have to disconnect your controller. It's just that my controller uh, did run out of battery. So once it's been about 20 to 30 seconds that you've been scrolling uh, right on the D-pad, what you're gonna have to do is open your phone and just back out of the mission. Now keep watching the video because it is not done yet. I will show you how you can actually save the duffel bag. So now you will load it with the black duffel bag, but you won't actually be able to save it. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually save it in your slots. So just get any flying vehicle, so it doesn't really matter which one. So it could be an oppressor or it could be a helicopter. And what you're going to have to do is make your way to the mask shop or the mask store uh, by the beach. There's only one in the game and it's, it's in the city by the beach. And what you're going to have to do, I will show you how to parachute down. So make sure you do watch this part of the video very closely because if you do mess this up, you might have to redo the whole entire glitch. So just make sure you watch very closely how I do it here. If it is your first time doing a duffel bag glitch, by the way, I will have a video on all the colored duffel bags coming pretty soon, so make sure you do click that subscribe button, that way you don't miss it, since they did patch uh, Husky missions. So you're going to have to jump out of your flying vehicle around this height, and what you're going to have to do is open your parachute, and you're going to have to land to the left side of the mass drop. So just land to the left side of the mass drop, and make sure you don't get the cops on you. So the left side where the blue t-shirt is, so you should see there's a blue t-shirt, that's where you're going to have to land. So feel free to replay this part. So you're gonna land like this and then click spam right on the d-pad and then you will be on the screen and i'll just save this outfit in any slot doesn't really matter what you name it uh, you're just gonna have to save it once you do back out of the menu and open your uh, interaction menu go to appearance and equip the outfit we just saved then you'll see you do have the black duffel bag so up next i'm gonna be showing you how you can actually get the purple duffel bag in gta 5 so this is gonna be the purple duffel bag and you will need a husky for this so this works on all consoles so Xbox, PlayStation, PC. So you will need to bookmark any job for this. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Now for this, you will actually need a salvage yard or you could use a friend's salvage yard. So it's pretty easy. What you're gonna have to do uh, is you're gonna have to go right here to the computer and you're gonna have to start the Dugan robbery. So it's gonna be the Obey Omnis EGT this week. Now I recommend you do it this week because every single week they do change. Uh, you're gonna have to do the scope out mission. And once the scope out mission is done and you come back to your Scope out mission takes about like a minute or two. Uh, you gotta like scope out the maze bank arena. Now you will come back and you will see the screen and you don't do anything. Just get out of your salvage yard. So you're just gonna have to go outside. And by the way, if you do need someone to help you out, you can just join one of my live streams. I'm usually live and you could probably get someone uh, to help you out and you know, help each other out. So you should see these robbery tasks. The one you're gonna have to go is one by a clothing store. So just any robbery task by a clothing store. So for you, it might be different uh, than mine, but just make sure it's next to a clothing store. Now, once you made your way over there, you're gonna have to click right on the D-pad to actually contact Jamal. Now, once you've done that, uh, you'll actually have to find the duffel bag. So the duffel bag should be inside the clothing store. So just go inside the Suburban. And the duffel bag should be located behind the counter. So I will show you right here. And by the way, you don't actually, like you need to save the duffel bag. I will show you how to actually save it. So do be sure to keep watching the video because you, pull, you can't just save the duffel bag. Uh, you actually have to do a little glitch. So it's pretty easy though. So you're gonna have to equip the outfit where you want the duffel bag to be on. So. The outfit that you will have on right now will be the one with the duffel bag. And yeah, there's actually an easy method. You can also like transfer the duffel bag over to any outfit. So I will include that in my next top five clothing glitches. So make sure to click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss it. So every single Friday, I upload a top five of the best clothing glitches. So if you don't want to miss out on that, uh, yeah, just make sure you click that red subscribe button. So what you're going to have to do is 
you lose your cops and lose the cops and then you're gonna have to go on a flying vehicle right above your salvage yard and you're gonna have to jump out and what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to land right on the circle so it's gonna be a like a yellow circle so you just land on the circle so you're gonna have to jump out of your oppressor now once you jumped out of your oppressor you're gonna have to go towards the circle and then you're gonna have to land exactly on the circle this part might be a bit tricky depending on where your salvage art is located as you can see mine so you just uh, you can tap r1 and l1 to get it easier and boom just like this as you can see i got it And now once you do go inside, just go back outside. And now what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to make your way to the ammunition. So just any ammunition on the map, you're just going to have to buy a parachute. And you're going to have to buy this specific parachute right here. So it's going to be the Israel parachute uh, number 23. So it has to be this one. So uh, number 23, you just equip this one right here. And then you're going to have to open your interaction menu, go down to appearance. And then go to parachute and just make sure parachute is set to on. Now you'll see the parachute will go on your outfit. Now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get back into a flying vehicle. It doesn't have to be an oppressor, it could be like a buzzard. And what you're gonna have to do is fly over to the mask store. And you're gonna have to jump out, but jump out where you're like far enough from the clothing store. You're gonna have to land next to the clothing store. I mean, not the clothing store, a max shop. Now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to land by the left side where the blue t-shirt is. So you will see a blue t-shirt. And what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to land right into the blue t-shirt. So you're gonna have to just crash into the blue t-shirt. So you will see to the left side, uh, you can rewatch this part multiple times uh, just to see how you do it. So as you can see that blue t-shirt, you just crash into it. And then once your character stands up, just spam around on the d-pad, just like this. So spam around on the d-pad, then you should be on the screen and I'll just save the outfit in any slot. So it doesn't matter which slot you save it on, um, you just save the outfit. And after you save the outfit, you can name it whatever. Um, you will open, just back out of this, open your interaction menu and you will see that you do have the purple duffel bag. So to get started, what you're gonna have to do is adjust to the CEO and make your way to the salvage yard. And now you're gonna have to start up the this one right here, the Lampatati uh, robbery right here. It's gonna be the gangbanger robbery. So it might be different when you're watching this, but I recommend as soon as you see this video, you go and do this because they do change every week. And this week you can actually do it. It's gonna be this card in the middle. Uh, it's gonna be the one you choose. So I would recommend as soon as you watch this video, uh, you go and do it. So back to the video, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do the first scope out mission. It takes about like two to three minutes to do. Now after you've done the scope out mission, you're gonna have to find this, uh, the weapon stash. So it's gonna be a robbery task on the map, just like this. Now it would be, uh, could be in a different location for you, but just make sure it's the weapon stash and you're just gonna have to make your way over there. And now once you've done, done this, Jamal will call you. So just wait for Jamal to give you a call. So you're just gonna have to walk into this like blue circle, so or yellow or green circle, whatever. So you're just gonna have to go in and click right on the D-pad, and then Jamal will contact you. And now what you're gonna have to do, if you have the same mine, uh, the same as mine, you're gonna have to go into the ammunition. So the weapon stash is usually next to an ammunition or a gun store. So just uh, pick that one. And what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to walk inside, and then you should find the duffel bag right over here. So the green duffel bag. But keep watching the video because you can't actually save it yet. So you can't just walk into a clothing store and save it. Uh, Rockstar, uh, they don't let us do this. So they don't let you just save this. I'm going to show you how you can actually save this. It's actually pretty easy. By the way, this method is for cosmetic purposes only. And uh, yeah, only cosmetic purposes. So I don't condone you do this. And what you're going to have to do now, make sure you watch this spot very carefully. You're going to have to land with your parachute right next to the police station. So I will show you right here. So there's like a trash bin and you're gonna have to land with your parachute right next to it. So now it took me about four tries. So you might not get this your first try. So what you're gonna have to do, I recommend you get an oppressor with this. So you're gonna have to go from this side right here. So I recommend you go from the left side of the bridge and then you're gonna have to jump out and then just open your parachute and hold R1 and L1 to get more accuracy. And just go right like this, right into here and then your parachute will cut out. And now you will fall pretty close to it and then spam around the d-pad just like this and now if you did do it correctly you'll see your character put it under um but you make sure you do do it as you're like in ragdoll now once you've done that just leave the area and what you're gonna have to do is just make your way to just get like a random street card doesn't really matter or you could also get your oppressor back or your flying vehicle and you're gonna have to make your way to the ammunition so any ammunition on the map like i said feel free to rewatch that part um it's actually pretty difficult but uh, it's pretty you could actually do it. it takes about like three tries uh, if it's your first time doing it which was actually my first time now I go to parachutes and you're gonna have to equip this specific parachute it's gonna be number 26 the israel parachute 
So you're gonna have to equip this one right here and then you open your interaction menu and then go to appearance and then go down to parachutes and just put it on and then equip the parachute. Now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to make your way uh, to the mask shop. So the one by the pier or the one by the beach. So there's only one mask shop on the map. So just make sure you're over there. And what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to jump out. So you can't actually save this, but I will show you how to save it. So you're gonna have to jump out around this height right here and then open your parachute. And now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to land by the yellow or by the blue and pink t-shirt. So to the left side of the mask shop, there should be like a blue and a pink t-shirt. That's where you're gonna have to crash into those two t-shirts as you're landing and spam right on the d-pad as your character is getting up. So you'll see right up here, um, it might take you more than one try. Like I said, it's your first time doing it. But me, I got a first try. Uh, there we go. And just spam right on the d-pad, just like this. And you'll be put on the screen. I would just save this outfit any slot. doesn't matter what you save it or what you name it. So just save it into any slot. And there we go. You got the green duffel bag on your outfit. Uh, now, by the way, you can also transfer this to other outfits. Uh, I actually couldn't get it to work for some reason. But I'll make a video on it very soon in my top five clothing glitches. And if this method did work for you, make sure you comment it down below. So other people trying this out also do know that it works. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.